Hi, in this video, we're talking about Playmates, which is the second print in Elizabeth Caplet's For My People portfolio, and it refers to the third stanza of Margaret Walker's poem by the same title. When we look at this, we're struck by the gold background and the two children playing ball. So the gold background is kind of mottled, meaning that it's not evenly the same gold color. There are some lighter areas and some darker areas. The two children stand in this, so we don't know exactly where they are. We don't have a precise setting or location. The children are rendered in a lot of detail, especially compared to the individuals that we see in singing their songs. So whereas in that print we saw very intense highlights and dark shadows, we're seeing more gradation of color here. So we have very bright highlights on the nose, on the chin, on the apples of their cheeks, but we see us more kind of going from gray to black in the hollows of their cheeks um, and along their jawline. We also see this more subtle shading on their arms, legs, hands, and arms. And this gives us a sense of specificity. So these seem like almost specific children and a greater sense of naturalness in the way that they're represented. In contrast, their clothing and the ball it seems almost like paper cutouts put on top, right? The colors are completely flat, meaning they're the same across. We're not getting the same kind of volume created by shadows. We're not really seeing any shadows at all in their clothing. Um, there's very graphic prints in the shirt and the dresses of the boy and the girl. Um, and then the ball, right? It's almost dead center. It's slightly lower, but in the middle of the canvas or in the middle of the paper in this case. When we look at the poem, we see that Walker is calling back to Birmingham, Alabama. So she was born in Birmingham. She ended up moving when she was a little bit older to New Orleans. Um, and here she's talking about the clay, the dust, and the sand of Alabama. And once we have those, that kind of gold um, modeled background of this print makes a lot more sense. We can imagine it's sort of a dry day and the children are playing outside and as they're running around and bouncing the ball, it's kicking up some dust. And Walker goes through some of the, the games and make believe that children play from being a soldier to playing house um, and doing kind of like a hair salon and, and playing around. We don't see specifically basketball or um, playing with a ball mentioned. Um, and I think this is a good example of ways that Catlett is drawing um, inspiration and, and taking Walker's text, but taking it further and, and bringing some of her own um, insights into it and perspectives. Now, something that Catlett may have also been thinking about when she was making this print are religious works, um, specifically icons and altarpieces from the Renaissance and Byzantine era. On the right, we see Chimebue's Maesta, which is uh, Madonna and Majesty from the mid 13th century. This is an Italian artwork, and it's very similar to religious um, altarpieces that we see during this time, and also Byzantine icons. Um, so those were made during this time period as well. And in all of these, we see religious figures, often Mary or angels or saints. Um, in this example by Chimebue, we see Mary surrounded by angels, um, Jesus is on her lap. There's a, just a plain gold background, which is actually gold leaf. And the gold leaf is also creating the halos around the heads that we, of the angels and Jesus. The color palette tends towards the primary. So we're seeing blues and reds. Um, we're also seeing a little bit of yellow coming through in the angel's wings in a few of them. And we see Catlett using that same color palette of primaries and gold background. So why would she choose that? for this secular scene of children. What does that do to the status of the print, to the status of the children in the print? What do you think she's trying to convey by doing that? And we can see she's not the only artist at this time thinking about icons. So this is a mixed media collage by Lil Picard, who is a German artist who emigrated to the United States um, when the Nazis rose to power. 
this is called Dance Icon, and this is from 1985. So this is seven years before Catlett made her For My People series in 1992. But again, we see this similar um, prizing of these secular images. So they're not religious. Um, rather than everyday people or children that we see in Catlett, we see very specific um, ballet dancers in the little Picard. But we have a similar color palette of the gold and the blue. Um, so they're drawing on some of the tools that Renaissance and Byzantine artists were using to elevate their subjects and demonstrate their importance, but they're point transferring them into a completely different context. Um, and doing so, they provide some different richer meaning for their subjects that they represent. Thank you.